instead of doing this, we're going to run it down here. Oh, and actually, this should be 1 and 8, not 1 and 11. This one, however, is 1 and 11. It needs to be brought way over. Uh, I realize this is hideous, and I'm going to need to do a lot of uh, cleanup here. That is that is god awful. <laughs> Very least I'll do that. There we go. Now on button click it should register these. And I'm gonna come all the way to the end here. Let's get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. Then the last thing I want to do for now is come in here, find this text, cast to third person character. Get player character. Get race to text. Nope. To string to text. There we go. And then we're going to do pretty much the same thing with class. Ah, stop that. My screens are not wanting to cooperate with me today. Don't appreciate it. Alright, give me one second after I do this. My phone is buzzing off of the hook, and I don't know why. don't know why people are bothering me right now. Of course, everyone wants to bother me when I'm busy. Uh, to string, string to text. All right, so if we hit play, randomize. Ha ha! We now have a fully randomized feature. Check my phone real quick and see who the hell is texting me. <sighs> there. Sorry, it was family. My very interesting family. Very, very interesting. Okay. So now we need to go in and... Uh-oh, these aren't displaying anymore. Why not? <sighs> what happened? Okay. Now that this is fixed and ready to go, you're going to go ahead and figure out what the hell happened here. That's the set. This is no longer needed. Uh, apparently it didn't take this, so... Yeah, let me go ahead and fix that. Fix 
fix that. Dexterity, strength. I don't know why it didn't fix this last time. Pretty sure I did this. Compile, save. So race class, third person character, all of that should be working now. Randomize, we'll go with that. Okay, so now these should... Yay! Okay. So we've got that. Now I need to go back and go to my stat screen. And we're going to do text block, text block. That's not what I wanted at all. Remove binding. I wanted this. Ah, to third person character. Get character. Get race. String append to text okay and we'll see how much more uh, space I need for class. Uh, oh, damn it. Get class, y'all. <laughs> to string. Compile. Hit that. Let's see. Yeah, so it's getting cut off just a bit there. By a bit, I mean a lot. Let's try it now. Randomize. That's not bad. Got our race, our class. All of our stats are working. Boom. Got our modifiers there. So now, let's see. Suppose eventually we could do like choosing the deities and alignments and course character name. Granted character name is going to be an interesting one because I don't know how to how to set that up yet. Uh, wonder if there is a way to get out or see out. In. 
no. Keyboard, no. Input key, no. Um, I know there's got, there's bound to be a way to accept player input. I mean, there has to be. There's so many things. Keyboard. Ah, set keyboard focus. Getting somewhere with that. Huh. Interesting. Um... I don't know. That's something I'm going to look at and uh, get back to you on so that we can actually implement on our little race class screen. What we'll do is we'll have like a name thing here so that the player can type their name and uh, name their character, choose their race and class. I'll probably have an alignment uh, enum set. Not that that's really going to matter much, but you know, just for input box automatically takes focus allows the user to input multiple line to text Yeah, what, uh, what I'm wondering though, uh, NDFJ, and welcome to the chat by the way, thank you, um, is how to set it up kind of like a, uh, a chat system where it doesn't just take the focus, it actually will take the focus and then utilize the keyboard inputs. Um, I'm hoping that I don't have to sit here and manually set up the if you press A, if you press B, if you press C, if you press D, I, uh, oh, that would be very tedious. I could do it. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal, but I'd really rather not have to. Um, hmm. Yeah. Anyways, that's not a big deal right now. Right now we're working on getting the core functionality of race class set up, randomized set up, Stats are set up. Stats to play, uh, display the stat screen. Um, racial modifiers could come into play after I close this. Um, yeah, that's that is something else. That's for sure. All right. By the way, if there's uh, anyone in chat who has questions, go ahead and feel free to post them. And if I see them, I will get to them as soon as possible. I know chat's kind of dead today, uh, just in, in general. If you have questions, I'm more than happy to try and answer them as best I can. Uh, I am certainly not perfect and won't claim to be, but if I don't know the answer, I probably know who does or at least who could get you a... Uh, on the way. Yeah, um, what we're trying to do, NDF, is actually set up the 5th edition race class system with a, uh, with fully customizable stuff, so, like, you can set up your own stats, you can set up, uh, eventually your hit points, which are all done by a die rolling system that we've, we've previously set up, so I actually have D2 through D percentile dice that you can set up, and it rolls them for you. If you look, it actually goes through and uh, calculates your rolls. Um, we've been putting quite a bit of effort, actually, into this one. It's probably... The, this character is probably as far along, if not a bit further, than the character we had set up in the, uh, the 2D game that I was making. The, the little 2D test bed. Um, 